What if I told you that light, the thing everyone says is the fastest in the universe, is actually slow? I know that sounds crazy. Trust me, I get it. But by the end of this video, you're going to see the speed of light in a completely different way. And it's going to mess with your head. First, let's establish what we're dealing with here. Light travels at about 300,000 kilometers per second. Or if you prefer miles, that's roughly 186,000 miles per second. Now, your brain probably can't even process what that means. So let me put it in perspective. In just one second, and I'm literally snapping my fingers right now, light could circle the entire Earth seven and a half times. The entire Earth, seven times. In one second, if you blinked, light just traveled 300,000 kilometers while your eyes were closed. Okay, so that sounds pretty fast, right? Let's keep going. In one minute, light could circle the Earth's equator about 4 and 49 times. That's like doing laps around the planet for fun. From here to the moon, light makes that trip in 1.28 seconds. By the time I say moon, light has already been there and back. And our sun, that massive ball of fire that's 150 million kilometers away, light covers that distance in just eight minutes and 20 seconds. Pretty fast, right? Light seems to just teleport everywhere instantly. But here's where things get interesting. Let's zoom out a bit, way out. You know our galaxy, the Milky Way, it's this beautiful spiral of stars that we call home. If light wanted to travel from Earth to the center of our galaxy, it would take 26,000 years, 26,000 years. Put that in perspective. That's longer than all of recorded human history. The pyramids of Egypt? They're only about 4,500 years old. Light would still have 21,500 years left to travel. And if light tried to cross from one end of the Milky Way to the other, 100,000 years, 100,000 years. That means light that started traveling from one side of our galaxy when early humans were just figuring out how to use tools would only just now be reaching the other side. But wait, it gets even crazier. The Milky Way, it's just one galaxy. There are an estimated two trillion galaxies in the observable universe. Trillion, with a T. And most of these galaxies are so far apart that light takes billions of years to travel between them. The closest major galaxy to us is Andromeda, and light takes 2.5 million years to make that journey. The light from Andromeda that you can see in the night sky left that galaxy, when our earliest human ancestors were just starting to walk upright. You're literally looking into the past. And here's the part that completely breaks your brain. What if you wanted to reach the edge of the observable universe? Well, here's the thing. You can't and neither can light, because the universe itself is expanding. And at extreme distances, space is expanding faster than light can travel through it. It's like being on a treadmill that keeps speeding up. No matter how fast you run, the end keeps moving away from you. So there are places in the universe that light will never, ever reach. Not because light is slow, but because the universe won't let it get there. So is light fast? On human scales, absolutely, it's mind-bogglingly fast. But on cosmic scales, Light is basically crawling through the universe at a snail's pace. It makes you realize just how unimaginably vast space really is. But wait, doesn't it make you wonder why the speed of light is even a limit in the first place? Why does the universe have speed rules at all, almost like it's following code? What if the laws of physics are more like the rules of a simulation? Check out this next video, where we explore the strange evidence that reality itself might be artificial. If this messed with your head as much as it messed with mine, hit that like button. And if you want to dive deeper into the weirdness of physics, subscribe because we're just getting started. Stay curious with Curiosa.